Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, but I've been wanting to make this video for a really long time. I'm going to be vlogging my entire day with the horses. We're going to get pretty in depth here because this video was originally an hour long and I cut it down to 20 minutes, so be proud of me. But anyways, this is how I get ready in the morning. I took a shower, do my makeup, my skincare, all that good stuff. I'm gonna show some of the products that I use, but I try to speed it up as much as possible because this is a horse video. Who wants to watch me getting ready for an hour straight? Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm really excited about this because again, I've really wanted to do this for a long time. Here I'm using my Tatcha skincare set that my boyfriend got me for my birthday. I used it in college and I love it. It's also still super glooming out. I hate it. But today, as I'm recording this, it's 50 degrees, so it's not that bad. But this day, it was blistering cold. I hated it. Anyways, I put my hair in a braid now because it's so much easier with life and good for your hair. Make sure all the animals have water. Um, I started to feel hungry. And then I had to go make up green for deuce. So literally all of these things take way longer than I make it seem in the video that green took me forever also my trunk is still a mess from the horse show the week before I have been super busy uh, but yeah it's cold putting the heat seater on and I'm gonna go get coffee for myself and a barn worker it's like our routine every time I come there in the morning um, and also a great way to start your morning with that song frozen sherry's mocha favorite thing on earth okay now we're at the barn and i'm gonna pull in and say hi to deuce and give the barn worker coffee put on my muck boots on because it's a mess out there good say hi morning. to ace say good morning to deuce who is very hangry so while deuce is eating his breakfast i'm gonna get stuff ready for my ride put all the tack out and stuff i have to do a lot of multitasking to fit this all in a timely manner Say good morning to CC. grab my saddle, bridle, everything that I will need while they're all eating, and make sure that I have everything, and then I'm going to clean Deuce's water buckets. I at least dump them out every day because they always get sawdust and crap in them, but if they need scrubbed, I will scrub them also. My boy likes to have clean water. He refuses to drink dirty water, and we don't want a dehydrated horse. So he immediately drank out of it. Good. Um, then I'm gonna go put him outside since he's done eating his brekkie and he loves it. He will be so happy to see his friends. And then we stopped to get a couple little munchies in before we go outside because the you know, pasture grass is pretty ate down at the moment. So I always let him stop to eat some and then here he is about to bully the goat which is his favorite nice thing to poop. do which I just find it absolutely hilarious. One day I actually got a video of him chasing the goat around in circles around the shelter out there. And then my phone, because it's trash, crashed. And then the video was just gone. I recorded it on Snapchat and saved it and it just like never saved. I was so upset about it because it was the funniest thing I have ever <laughs> seen in my life. But yeah so every time he tries to chase the goat around i try to get a video because he is just usually so funny about it deuce is very low in the pecking order so he usually gets pushed around by literally every single horse the only animal he has control of is that goat which is hilarious because for the goat he bullies everyone people included literally everything and everyone and he only is afraid of deuce I just think that is just the funniest thing ever. Anyways, now that he's outside, I am going to shut the gate, hang his halter up, and then I'm gonna go clean his stall while he's not in it. Normally, I would take the buckets out and then clean the stall, but I wasn't sure if he was gonna go outside this? today or not and what was going on, and she already had filled the buckets with water, so I wasn't gonna just dump them out again when they already had clean water in them. But normally that's what I would do to prevent sawdust getting into the water as I'm cleaning the stall, because as you can see, the sawdust is like very cloudy. I like it, and I also don't. I like how fine it is and how, you know, cushy it is, but I hate how it gets absolutely everywhere in every single crevice you can think of because it's so finely shredded so the funny thing about deuce is he's neat in the sense that he only poops and pees in one spot 
Yet, if he is eating hay on the ground, he spreads it everywhere. So I always go around and I pick up the tiny little scraps and then I go and level out his stall. But he makes no sense because every time he goes outside, he rolls on both sides. So he's dirty in that aspect, but he will literally run to the corner of a pasture or wait till he gets to the corner of the arena to poop. And he's been that way his whole life. I have never met a horse that will literally run. He gallops to the corner of a pasture just to poop. And then he leaves. But in the video, you could see he was just pooping in a random spot. He normally does not do that. I mean, that was strange for him. So here I am sweeping the front of the stall. I don't do this all the time, but I do it when I have time because um, it helps not drag sawdust out into the hallway and it's in a spot where, you know, he doesn't usually stand. And then here they are. I caught them running and doing crazy stuff outside. I didn't get a video of everything, but they were bucking and just going absolutely nuts out there. It was hilarious. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna go dump my wheelbarrow like a champ. Do this every day. I'm pretty much a pro at it. I'm a veteran at dumping wheelbarrows, okay? Okay, anyways, so now that Deuce has his grain and he's all squared away, all I have to do is come back later to clean his feet out. So he's pretty much good. So now I can go to CC. Um, I always make sure that she gets some alfalfa hay before we ride, so I'm going to go grab that and just so she can have something in her stomach um, to help buffer the <laughs> pH balance. And then I take her to the cross ties to brush her out because she was mm -hmm. actually a muddy yeah, mess. Is. Chestnuts hide their dirt so well, and it seems like literally the more you brush them the dirtier they get because they're hiding all that dirt under them like you're better off just not brushing them because when you do it just lifts all the dirt up and i could sit here and brush this horse for five hours i found the best thing that works though is like a microfiber cloth and then dampening that that literally lifts a lot of the dirt up but i didn't have one with me but that is like the fastest and best way for me to groom chestnuts because i like i said the more i curry it's like just the dirtier they look because of it so i just give up um here i'm actually using my old wet brush i have like five of them now but whenever i don't use my old ones anymore i just bring it to the barn and use it on the horses and i always wipe her eyes with a baby wipe because she gets eye boogies every day and i also clean her little nostrils because she got a dirty nose she don't like it, but she tolerates it. But you'll see how much dirt is in her nose. It's a little gross. Okay, so she is all groomed. We're going to start tacking up. There's my Lemieux saddle pad. I forget what color that is. It's not fig. It's, um, I literally forget what color that is. <laughs> I just got it because it was like the only color they had on Amazon. And I was like, oh, this is cheaper because it's on Amazon. Not really by that much. I just paid less for shipping. But I really, 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 really want the Wisteria set because that's like my favorite color. That and mint green. Like lavender and mint green. Those are my favorites. Anyways, I put the saddle in place. Tent the saddle pad. Now I'm going to attach the girth. This is a huge debate, okay? I do the girth on both sides. I make sure it is equal holes on both sides. And I will literally run back and forth to go up one hole on both sides people have given me so much crap because they're like oh you're you're adjusting it on the wrong side you're not doing it on the off side i want equal pressure on both sides i don't want to just torque it on one side of the horse so there is no wrong side of doing something on a horse we just have an old tradition of doing things from the left side but it genuinely doesn't matter to the horse and actually i find it to be more comfortable if it would be equal pressure on both sides of the saddle but that's just me so i'm just like weird like that i always pay attention to little things like that anywho now i'm putting on my tall boots switching out of the muckers sweet then I am going to, what am I going to do next? I don't remember what the next clip is. 
Oh, okay, so she's all tacked up, so I'm gonna take her into the arena and free lunch her a little bit because it is cold and she is older, so I like to free lunch her before I actually put her on a lunch line to allow her to free up, you know, her own body. Plus, she's been stalled, so she's probably gonna be a little bit stiff, so again, I just want her to be able to freely move as she wants instead of keeping her on a tight circle at first. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna let her loose um, with the saddle on. This will also allow the saddle to fall into um, the spot where it would sit naturally and also loosen the girth up so I can tighten it one more time before I get on. She was feeling a little fresh today. I couldn't get it on video though, but she was acting nuts. But every time she would do it, I wasn't recording. So anyways, we are also practicing changing directions transitions but the main thing i'm working on this horse with is stretching and relaxation so i reward every time she actually stretches through her back and lowers her head what that's a huge doing? thing because she normally as you can see she moves in a very hollowed out frame especially with a rider so trying to get her out of that shape and allow her to just relax and start stretching her top line out Good girl. All right, so again, I'm gonna go back and do the girth up from both sides, go up one hole um, to make it equal. Nobody taught me to do it this way. I just, you know, figured it would be common sense to make an equal pressure on both sides of the saddle, but it's become a thing and that's how I like to do it. Also, I feel like every horse should know how to ground tie, English or not. She's obviously being a very good girl. Now I am going to put her bridle on. Um, I don't usually put her halter on over, but I just thought I'd do it for the video. <laughs> She's not going anywhere, though, obviously. Um, put her little ear bonnet on, put the reins over, then take the halter off, bring her head over, then I will put the bit in slowly. She loves this bit. We just changed her bits again, and she loves this one so much better. Um, I'll talk about it in a later video if you guys are interested. Um, but then first I do the throat latch. I did do it a bit loose in this video, but oh well, it was fine. Um, the nose band though, you'll see, I'll show at the end how, um, how I adjust everything, how it's all adjusted on her face, the bit and everything. Um, adjust the brow band and then I'm going to tighten the nose band on. And I only put it on the second hole for her. Some people would probably put it on the third or fourth hole, though. But to me, no. <laughs> so this is how I have it adjusted. That's how I like the bit to sit in her mouth, too. She doesn't like it to be too loose, but I also don't want it to be too tight where it's forcing to torque the corner of her mouth. I want her to be able to actually hold it a little bit herself. Um, now we're going to do the stretches. This will also help stretch out the girth if there's any, like, kinks in it. Um, so again, I like to do this just so it sits more comfortably. It also stretches her legs out. Go ahead and do it on both sides. <laughs> we are having a little bit of trouble here. Um, but again, she's 16, so I would do these stretches with any horse, but I think it helps her a little bit too. And again... I'm all about comfort, and I want the saddle to sit comfortably on her. Um, then sometimes I'll do some s tail stretches to help stretch her back out. I didn't do it for that long, but I was just kind of demonstrating what I do sometimes. And then here's her little get up. Again, I don't remember what this color is called. I don't know if it's fig or plum or what. I don't think it's either of them. I don't know what the color is called. Um, anyways, so, um, we walk for about 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20, depending how cold it is. We're going to practice on Good flexing girl. and stopping and Good backing girl. up and turning and neck reining and all that stuff. We do all those things in the walk before our what? ride. So you'll see she didn't flex for me very good there, but I just introduced to it to her like a month ago, so she's still learning it. She's not going to be perfect at it. Um, she's very good at steering. She pretty much has that down pat. If I pointed her into a wall, she would walk into the wall. Um, but the other stuff like stopping and backing up, all that stuff needs work, especially a rein back. Um, she doesn't like a whole lot of pressure on 
the reins. So that's another thing we're teaching her is to accept a little bit of contact. Today I rode her in a loose rein for the entire time to help her naturally stretch down and let her free her own neck up. Because um, I've noticed, you know, if you do have her on a tighter rein, um, she feels like she has to hold her head in that hyperflexed kind of hollowed out position. So I want her to naturally stretch on her own. And she did that a lot today. I was so happy with her. It felt like every couple of steps she was stretching down and blowing out air. She did absolutely phenomenal today. I have struggled. I've been riding this horse for almost a year now and I am just now figuring out how she exactly works. Figuring out her way of learning. And we have made such an improvement in literally just a day. I was getting very frustrated before because it felt like we were making absolutely no progress at all. And we have just, I mean, she was just amazing today. Just like it felt like a totally different horse. And I'm so proud of her. She is just such a good mare. I cannot say enough good things about this horse. I literally love her personality. She's just amazing. So next is my absolute least favorite part, putting everything away. It feels like it takes longer to put everything away than it does to take it out. I literally, I hate this. Like if my boyfriend's with me, I ask him to help me put stuff away because I dread doing it for some reason. I don't know. There's my messy tack box too, it needs organized. Um, then I wash the bell boots because I'm trying to get the most longevity out of them as possible. And then I'm going to leave. Okay, so now mostly everything at the barn is done, um, about 90% of it. However, my day is not even close to over. Um, I still have to run into town to buy some things for Deuce, um, go to the gym, get some things for myself, and I got a bunch of cleaning to do. Obviously, clean my car out. Um, and do a bunch of house cleaning and laundry and you know all that but good stuff. I've decided instead of like making two trips into town um, I'm just gonna go home now get some cleaning done and then when my boyfriend's ready to go to the gym we'll go into town and then that's when I will come back out to clean Deuce's feet out since it's the barn is like in between my house and town so it's on the way to a lot of things. Um, so on the way to the gym I'll stop here clean his feet out and then he'll be good to go. And then we will go to the store, get everything I need, go to the gym, and then come back home and hopefully there is time to relax because we got to work at 6 tomorrow, so I have to go to bed early too. But yeah, these are usually how my days go. Um, I like to stay busy, but then again, I also don't. Um, it can be really stressful um, if I don't manage my time properly. I have to be like on it every single day. Um to make sure everything gets but done. I also have a bunch of thank you cards that I have to write. Like, oh my gosh, there's just so much I have to do that I honestly might have to put some of the cleaning list to tomorrow because there might not be enough time. It always happens like this. Like, unless I wake up at four o'clock in the morning every day, like, it's just so hard to get Here's everything another done. thing I'm really bad at. It's 2.30 and I haven't eaten anything at all today besides my coffee drink. So this is like like an ongoing thing like I get so busy that I don't have time to eat and then my hunger goes away so I forget that I'm even hungry so Just starving to death. I 
know you were. He was gonna have the stall messed up in like two seconds. This is your favorite part of the day, huh? So spoiled. Spoiled. Me wrapping my leg around his foot. Okay, I'll put it down. Watch, this is how I get him to put his foot up. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> That's all you do. Alright, here we go. <laughs> 